sa karikruktor, nga ito siya sa amo barangay. Mayingon man ang recruiter na gusto ba mong matabaw Manila, tabangan ta mo. Nang tanap pa ngayon, masay tabaw dito sa Manila. Parang mo pinayin naman siya, misal is lady. O niya, dagko daw ko nung sweldo, libo-libo niya. Siyempre, ginsabay din ni mga kuwanan na nga sweldo. Dil na ta! Uban mi sa recruiter, hingat to Manila, October 1992. Damo mi, tagalain-lain lugar. Uh, hadlo ko kay di baya ko sweet og Manila na hadlo nga nalipay bala na lang para pud makatabang ko sa akong pamilya. Abot nung sa Manila, wa may magdahom nga giila da jud ni sa recruiter. Ako si Josie Caberos, biktima ko sa human trafficking. Isa kayo may sakyan ng sauna ka ng IL-300 nga buwan, padungan doon sa pabrika sa Sardinas. Iso na nga mong kaagi, trabaho may alas 8 sa buntag, kutob may sa alas 3 kadlaon, sa alas 4 sa kadlaon. Nga matulog lang may pila ka oras, trabaho na sa pukawon may, ka ng batutaon may, digali patiran ba. Illegal may, may sweldo-sweldo. Nag-inampo dyan may nga naabay mo, mo luwas sa amo dito. What is RA10364? Republic Act number 10364 is an act expanding Republic Act number 9208 entitled An Act to Institute Policies to Eliminate Trafficking in Persons, especially Women and Children, establishing the necessary institutional mechanisms for the protection and support of trafficked persons, providing penalties for its violations and for other purposes. Section 2. Declaration of Policy It is hereby declared that the state values the dignity of every human person and guarantees the respect of individual rights. In pursuit of this policy, the state shall give highest priority to the enactment of measures and development of programs that will promote human dignity, protect the people from any threat of violence and exploitation, Eliminate trafficking in persons and mitigate pressures for involuntary migration and servitude of persons, not only to support trafficked persons, but more importantly, to ensure the recovery, rehabilitation, and reintegration to the mainstream of society. It shall be a state policy to recognize the equal rights and inherent human dignity of women and men as enshrined in the United Nations Universal Declaration on Human Rights. United Nations Convention on the Elimination of All Forms of Discrimination Against Women, United Nations Convention on the Rights of the Child, United Nations Convention on the Protection of Migrant Workers and their Families, United Nations Convention Against Transnational Organized Crime, including its protocol to prevent, suppress, and punish trafficking in persons, especially women and children, and all other relevant and universally accepted human rights instruments and other international conventions to which the Philippines is a signatory. Section 3, Definition of Terms. Trafficking in persons. It refers to the recruitment, obtaining, hiring, providing, offering, transportation, transfer, maintaining, harboring, or receipt of persons with or without their victim's consent or knowledge, within or across national borders by means of stress or use of force or other forms of uh, coercion, abduction, fraud, deception, 
abuse of power or of position, taking advantage of the vulnerability of the person or the giving or receiving of payments or benefits to achieve the consent of a person having control over another person for the purpose of exploitation, which includes at a minimum the exploitation of the prostitution of others or other forms of sexual exploitation, forced labor or services, slavery, servitude, or the removal of sale of organs. What is a child? It refers to a person below 18 years of age or one who is over 18 but is unable to fully take care of or protect himself or herself from the abuse, neglect, cruelty, exploitation, or discrimination because of a physical or mental disability or condition. Prostitution. It refers to any act, transaction, scheme, or design involving the use of a person by another for sexual intercourse or lascivious conduct in exchange for money, uh, profit, or any other consideration. Forced labor refers to the extraction of work or services from any person by means of uh, enticement, violence, intimidation, or threat, use of force or coercion, including deprivation of freedom, abuse of authority, or moral ascendancy, death, bondage, or deception, including any work or service extracted from any person under the menace, uh, menace of penalty. Slavery refers to the status or condition of a person over whom any or all of the powers attaching to the right of ownership are exercised. Involuntary servitude refers to the condition of enforced and compulsory service induced by means of any scheme, plan, or pattern intended to cause a person to believe that if he or she did not enter into a, or continue in such condition, he or she or another person would suffer serious harm or other for, uh, forms of abuse or physical restraint or threat of abuse or harm or coercion, including depriving access to travel documents and withholding salaries or the abuse or threatened abuse of the legal process. Sex tourism refers to a program organized by travel and tourism related establishments and individuals which consist of tourism packages or activities utilizing and offering escort and sexual uh, services as enticement for tourists. This includes sexual services and uh, practices offered during rest and recreation periods for members of the military. Sexual exploitation. It refers to participation by a person in his prostitution, pornography, or other production of pornography in exchange for money, profit, or any other consideration or where the participation is caused or facilitated by any means of intimidation or threat, use of force or other forms of coercion, abduction, fraud, deception, debt, bondage, abuse of power, or opposition or of legal process, taking advantage of the vulnerability of the person or give or receiving of payments or benefits to achieve the consent of a person having control over another person or in sexual intercourse or lascivious conduct uh, caused or facilitated by means as provided in this act. Death bandage refers to pledging by the debtor of his her personal services or labor or those of a person under his her control as a security or payment for a debt when the length and nature of services is not clearly defined or when the value of the services as reasonably assessed is not applied toward the liquidation of the debt. Pornography. It refers to any representation through publication, exhibition, cinematography, uh, indecent shows, information technology, or by whatever means of a person engaged in real or simulated explicit sexual activities or any representation of the sexual parts of a person for primary sexual purposes. Council. It shall mean that the interagency council against trafficking created uh, under what section are the elements of, of trafficking in persons. Trafficking in persons is an illegal act and is considered a violation of human rights. It has three interrelated and interdependent elements for a situation to be considered trafficking in persons. First is the act. 
It involves the recruitment, obtaining, hiring, providing, offering, transportation, transfer, maintaining, harboring, or receipt of persons with or without the victim's consent or knowledge within or across national borders. Next is the means. It is committed by use of threat or use of force or other forms of coercion, abduction, fraud, deception, abuse of power or of position, taking advantage of the vulnerability of the person or the giving or receiving of payments or benefits to achieve the consent of a person having control over another person. And last one is the purpose. It is done for the purpose of exploitation or the prostitution of others or other forms of sexual exploitation, forced labor or services, slavery, involuntary servitude, or the removal or sale of organs. The recruitment, transportation, transfer, harboring, adoption, or receipt of a child for the purpose of exploitation or when the adoption is induced by any form of consideration for exploitative purposes shall be also be considered as trafficking in persons, even if it does not involve any of the means mentioned above. So what are the acts punishable under the anti-trafficking in persons law? It shall be unlawful for any person, natural or juridical, to commit any of the following acts. A. To recruit, obtain, hire, provide, offer, transport, transfer, maintain, harbor, or receive a person by any means, including those done under the pretext of domestic or overseas employment or training or apprenticeship for the purpose of prostitution, pornography, or sexual exploitation. Next is to introduce or match for money, profit, or material, economic, or other consideration, any person, or as provided for under Republic Act Number 6955, any Filipino woman to a foreign national for marriage for the purpose of acquiring, buying, offering, selling, or trading him or her to engage in prostitution, pornography, sexual exploitation, forced labor, slavery, involuntary servitude, or debt bondage. Third one is to offer or contract marriage real or simulated for the purpose of acquiring, buying, offering, selling, or trading them to engage in prostitution, pornography, sexual exploitation, forced labor or slavery, involuntary servitude, or debt bondage. To undertake or organize, this is the fourth one, uh, to undertake or organize tours and travel plans consisting of tourism packages or activities for the purpose of utilizing and offering persons for prostitution, pornography, or sexual exploitation. Next one is to maintain or hire a person to engage in prostitution or pornography. The sixth one is to adopt persons by any form of consideration for exploitative purposes or to facilitate the same for purposes of prostitution, pornography, sexual exploitation, forced labor, slavery, involuntary servitude, or then bondage. Seventh one is to adopt or facilitate the adoption of persons for the purpose of prostitution, pornography, sexual exploitation, forced labor, slavery, involuntary servitude, or that bondage. Next is to recruit, hire, adopt, transport, transfer, obtain, harbor, maintain, provide, offer, receive, or abduct a person by means of threat or use of force, fraud, deceit, violence, coercion, or intimidation for the purpose of removal or sale of organs of said person. Next one is to recruit, transport, obtain, transfer, harbor, maintain, offer, hire, provide, receive, or adopt a child to engage in armed activities in the Philippines or abroad. To recruit, transfer, harbor, obtain, maintain, offer, hire, provide, or receive a person by means defined in Section 3 of this Act for purposes of forced labor, slavery, that bondage and invol involuntary servitude, including a scheme, plan, or pattern intended to cause person either to believe that if the person did not perform such labor or services, he or she or another person would suffer serious harm or physical restraint, or to abuse or threaten the use of law or the legal processes. 
to recruit, transport, harbor, obtain, transfer, maintain, hire, offer, provide, adopt, or receive a child for purposes of, of exploitation or trading them, including but not limited to the act of bearing and or selling a child for any consideration or for barter for purposes of exploitation. Trafficking for purposes of exploitation of children shall include all forms of slavery or practices similar to slavery in voluntary servitude, debt bondage, and forced labor, including recruitment of children for use in armed conflict, the use or offering of a child for prostitution, or the production of pornography or pornographic performances. Next is the use, procuring, or offering of a child for the production and trafficking of drugs and the use, procuring, or offering of a child for illegal activities or work which by its nature or the circumstances in which it is carried out is likely to harm their health, safety, or morals. And the next one is to organize or direct other persons to commit the offenses defined as acts of trafficking under this act. Any person found guilty of acts of TIP shall be penalized with imprisonment of 20 years and a fine of not less than 1 million but not more than 2 million pesos. The following acts which promote or facilitate trafficking in person shall be unlawful. First is to knowingly lease or sublease, use or allow to be used any house, building or establishment for the purpose of promoting trafficking in persons. Next is to produce, print, and issue or distribute unissued, tampered, or fake counseling certificates, registration stickers, overseas employment certificates, or other certificates of any government agency which uses these certificates, decals, and such other markers as proof of compliance with government regulatory and pre-departure requirements for the purpose of promoting trafficking in persons. Next is to advertise publish, print, broadcast, or distribute, or cause the advertisement, publication, printing, broadcasting, or distribution by any means including the use of information technology and the internet of any brochure, flyer, or any propaganda material that promotes trafficking in persons. Next is to assist in the conduct of misrepresentation or fraud for purposes of facilitating the acquisition of clearances and necessary exit documents from government agencies that are mandated to, the, to provide pre-departure registration and services for departing persons for the purpose of promoting trafficking in persons. To facilitate, assist, or help in the exit and entry of persons from or to the country at international and local airports, territorial boundaries, and seaports who are in possession of an issued tampered or fraudulent travel documents for the purpose of promoting trafficking in persons. Next is to confiscate, conceal, or destroy the passport, travel documents of personal documents or belongings of trafficked persons in, fur in furtherance of trafficking or to prevent them from leaving the country or seeking redress from the government or appropriate agencies. And to knowingly benefit from financial or otherwise or make use of the labor or services of a person held to a condition of involuntary servitude, forced labor, or slavery. Next is to tamper or tamper with, destroy, or cause the destruction of evidence or to influence or attempt to influence witnesses in an investigation or prosecution of a case under this act. Also, to destroy, conceal, remove, confiscate, or possess, or attempt to destroy, conceal, remove, confiscate, or possess any actual or purported passport or other travel, immigration, or working permit, or document, or any other actual or purported government identification of any person in order to prevent or restrict or attempt to prevent or restrict without lawful authority the person's liber liberty to remove or travel in order to maintain the labor or services of that person or 
to utilize his or her office to impede the investigation, prosecution, or execution of lawful orders in a cause under this act. Any person found guilty of acts that promote TIP or trafficking in persons shall be penalized with imprisonment of 15 years and a fine of not less than 500,000 pesos but not more than 1 million pesos. Pesos. Section 11 of the Act provides that use of traffic persons, any person who buys or engage the services of a traffic person for prostitution shall be penalized with the following, provided that the probation law shall not apply. First is prison correctional in its maximum period to prison, prison mayor or 6 years to 12 years imprisonment and a fine of not less than 50,000 pesos but not more than 100,000 pesos provided however that the following act shall be exempted thereto. If an offense under paragraph A involves sexual intercourse or lascivious conduct with a child, the penalty shall be reclusion temporal in its medium period to reclusion perpetuo or 17 years to 40 years imprisonment and a fine of not less than 500,000 pesos but not more than 1 million pesos. If an offense under paragraph A in involves carnal knowledge of or sexual intercourse with a male or female trafficking victim and also involves the use of force, intimidation to a victim deprived of reason or to an unconscious victim or a victim under 12 years of age instead of the penalty prescribed in the paragraph above or the previous paragraph, the penalty shall be a fine of not less than 1 million pesos but not more than 5 million pesos and imprisonment of reclusion perpetua or 40 years imprisonment with no possibility of parole except that if a person violating paragraph A of this section knows the person that provided prostitution services is in fact a victim of trafficking, the offender shall not be likewise penalized under this section but under section 10 as a person violating section 4. And if in committing such an offense, the offender also knows a qualifying circumstance for trafficking the offender shall be penalized under section 10 for qualified trafficking if in violation or if in violating this section the offender also violate, violates section 4 the offender shall be penalized under section 10 and if applicable for qualified trafficking instead of under this section next is the deportation if a foreigner commits any offense described by Paragraph 1 or 2 of this section or violates any pertinent provisions of this act as an accomplice or accessory to or by attempting any such offense, he or she shall be immediately deported after serving his or her sentence and be barred permanently from entering the country. Public official. If the offender is a public official, he or she be dismissed from service and shall sub suffer per per perpetual absolute disqualification to hold public office in addition to any imp imprisonment or fine received pursuant to any other provision of this act. Another act that is um, punishable under the Anti-Trafficking in Persons Law is Qualified Trafficking. It is considered qualified trafficking if, it is, if the trafficked person is a child Next, if you adopted a child, but it is for the purpose of prostitution, pornography, sexual exploitation, forced labor, slavery, involuntary servitude, or death bondage. Next, if the crime is committed by a syndicate or in a large scale, it is committed by a syndicate if it is carried out by a group of three or more persons. Next, if the offender is a spouse, an ascendant, parent, sibling, guardian, or a person who exercises authority over the trafficked person, or when the offense is committed by a public officer or employee. Next, it is also considered qualified trafficking if uh, the trafficked person is recruited to engage in prostitution with any member of the military or law enforcement agencies, or when the offender is a member of the military 
or law enforcement agencies or by the reason of the trafficking the offended party dies or becomes insane or suffers uh, mutilation or afflicted with HIV or AIDS next when the offender commits one or more violations of section 4 over a period of 60 or more days whether those days are continuous or not lastly when the offender directs or through another manages the trafficking victim in carrying out the exploitive purpose of trafficking so qualified trafficking shall be penalized by life imprisonment and a fine of not less than two million but not more than five million pesos and you can also be uh, punished if you attempted trafficking so uh, there are acts to initiate the commission of a trafficking offense but the offender failed to or did not ex execute all the elements of the crime by accident or by reason of some cause other than the voluntary desistance and I mean any person uh, guilty of committing attempted trafficking in person shall be penalized with imprisonment of 15 years and a fine of not less than 500,000 but not more than 1 million pesos and if you are an accomplice to such act you can also be criminally liable and any person found guilty of section 4b of this act shall be penalized with imprisonment of 15 years and a fine of not less than 500,000 but not more than 1 million and if you are also an accessory to such crime you can also be um, penalized with imprisonment of 15 years and a fine of not less than 500,000 but not more than 1 million pesos if the offender is a corporation a partnership association club establishment or any juridical person the penalty shall be imposed upon the owner president partner manager or any res responsible officer who participated in the commission of the crime or shall have knowingly permitted or failed to prevent its commission and the registration with the sec and the license to operate shall be cancelled and revoked permanently and if the offender is a foreigner he or she shall be immediately deported after serving his or her sentence and be barred permanently from entering this country if you traffic an adopted child then by conviction by final judgment of the adopter for any offense under this act shall result in the immediate rescission of the decree of adoption the court shall order the confiscation and forfeiture in favor of the government of all proceeds and properties derived from the commission of the crime unless they are the property of third persons not liable for the unlawful act what protection is given to traffic person the protection given to traffic persons are the following. Legal protection, free legal assistance, right to privacy and confidentiality, witness protection program, and victim compensation program. Now let's define what is legal protection. Traffic persons shall be recognized as victims of the act or acts of trafficking, and as such shall not be penalized for unlawful acts committed as a direct result of or as an incident or in relation to being traffic based on the acts of trafficking enumerated in this act or in obedience to the order made by the trafficker in relation thereto. In this regard, the consent of a traffic person to the intended exploitation set forth in this act shall be irrelevant. Victims of trafficking for purposes of prostitution, as defined under Section 4 of this act, are not covered by Article 202 of the Revised Penal Code, and as such shall not be prosecuted, fined, or otherwise penalized under the said law. The Mandatory Services these are the following mandatory services to ensure recovery rehabilitation and reintegration into the mainstream of society concerned government agency shall make available of the following services to traffic person first emergency shelter or appropriate housing second counseling third 
free legal services, which shall include information about the victim's rights and the procedure for filing complaints, claiming compensation, and such other legal remedies available to them in a language understood by the trafficked person. Medical or psychological services, livelihood and skills training, and educational assistance to a trafficked child. Sustained supervision and follow-through mechanism that will track the progress of recovery, rehabilitation, and reintegration of the trafficked persons shall be adopted and carried out. Now let's proceed to the Witness Protection Program. Any provision of Republic Act number 6981 to the contrary, notwithstanding, any trafficked person shall be entitled to the Witness Protection Program provided therein. Thank you, Ms. Maso. Now let's go to who may file a complaint. Of course, number one, the trafficked person or the offended party himself or him herself, the spouse, parents or legal guardians, siblings, children, or any other person who has personal knowledge of the offense. Initiation of investigation. The law enforcement agencies are mandated to immediately initiate investigation and counter-trafficking intelligence gathering upon receipt of statement or affidavit from victims or trafficking migrant workers or their families who are in possession of knowledge or information about trafficking in persons cases. The venue, a criminal action arising from violation of this act shall be filed where the offense was committed or where any of its elements occurred or where the traffic in person actually resides at the time of the commission of the offense, provided further that the court where the criminal action is first filed should acquire jurisdiction to the exclusion of any other courts. Affidavit of resistance. Cases involving trafficking in person should not be dismissed based on the affidavit of resistance executed by the victims of or their families or their parents or, or legal guardians. Public and private prosecutors are directed to oppose and manifest objection to motions for dismissal. Any act involving the means provided in this act or any attempt, therefore, in the, for the purpose of securing the affidavit of desistance from the complaint, complainant shall be punishable under this act. Ex uh, exemption from filing. Filing fees, where the traffic person institutes a separate civil action for the recovery of civil damages, he or she shall be exempted from payment of filing fees. Now, uh, the prescriptive period of trafficking in persons, uh, violations of trafficking in persons act. Trafficking, in, trafficking cases under this act shall be prescribed in 10 years, provided that, however, the trafficking cases committed by a syndicate or in large scale is defi as defined under section six or against a child shall prescribe in 20 years. The prescriptive period shall commence to run from the day in which the traffic person is delivered or released from the conditions of bondage or in the case of a child victim, from the day the child reaches the age of majority and that and shall be interrupted by filing of the complainant, a complaint or information and shall commence to run again. When the proceeding terminates without the accused being convicted or acquitted or unjustifiably stopped for any person not imputable to the accused. Where to ask help? So these are num the numbers now. You may call the Interagency Council Against Trafficking, where the number, and the above signing on number, no? The Department of Justice, the Department of Social Welfare and Development, of course, the Philippine National Police, the Women Children Protection Center. Aling Police of the PNP, National Bureau of Investigation, Bureau of uh, Immigration, the Philippine Overseas Employment Administration, and uh, no, that's just a number, no, that is flashed on your screen. Now that's all. Thank you so much for listening. I hope you have, you have learned something in this uh, law, no, the Traffic and Persons Act. Uh, if you have witnessed uh, traffic and person crime, occurred in your place, please report so, so that these um, violations of human rights against human rights will be stopped. Thank you once again and have a nice day.
mo din ay din ako kalimutan sa akong kinabuhi. Katong nabiktima ko, ako ay dosi pa lang. Kasagahan marikwa ka rin, istambay, mga bindor, wakod ka humani sa eskwila, kanantuan na sa mga bukid-bukid, unya ang ginikanan, wakod ka humani sa eskwila, dali rin yung ilaron sa recruiter, labaw na yung pangakuhan ang ginikanan, nga mauni inyong trabaho sa inyong anak, nga mauni inyong madawat. Kapag man na mo rescue, nag-advocate na ko sa eclipse, sa pagsumpot sa child trafficking or child labor. Uh, Mag-volunteer ko para ma-explain ang human trafficking o child trafficking na uh, wak na bata nga mabiktima nga ni sa ato sa Pilipinas. Ang mga kabataan naman dyo'y pangandoy sa kinabuhi. Akong pangandoy dyan nga. Pukusan po ni siya nga programa sa child trafficking nga ihunong na i-stop para sa itong kabataan para makabot dyan nila ilang pangandoy sa kinabuhi.